How's it going everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios and today we're going to be looking at streaming site playback as well as taking a look at what was uploaded to these streaming sites. What levels? What LUFS? What is the true peak hitting at? And that could give us an idea of what should we be doing and is that the correct thing? These ones that are being uploaded by major artists. Is that what we should actually be shooting for or should we do it a little bit different? So I'm going to give you guys my opinion on this. I don't think we should be doing exactly what these major artists are still doing because they're still playing that loudness war and I'll show you exactly the levels and everything to prove it but I'm gonna have a little different take on it I also have a gift for you guys so if you guys stick around to the end of this video I'll tell you more about that all right so let's go ahead and jump into it we're gonna compare a couple different songs here on Spotify and what I'm doing is routing Spotify's output into my DAW so I can monitor the LUFS and the true peak so we can see exactly what's going on. Now, if you leave Spotify as is the stock setting, they're going to be doing loudness normalization. And what that means is they're gonna take loud songs and bring them down and they're gonna take quiet songs and bring them up so everything sounds leveled. They want people to be able to click through songs and go from song to song without having any crazy level adjustments. So if you have a bunch of songs in a playlist and it's just playing, you don't want to have to turn down your speakers when a loud song comes on or turn up your speakers when a quiet song comes on. So they fix that problem by doing loudness normalization. And that sits around minus 14 LUFS. For the audio that I'm playing back here, you're not going to hear it because I don't want to get a bunch of problems with all these people claiming uh, ad revenue on my video. So what you're going to do is simply see the meters, which is what we're looking at anyways. You don't have to hear it. You could play the song yourself on Spotify. But just look at the meters here, that's what's important. So I'm going to go ahead and press play here on uh, the baby. Okay, I'm letting it play out for a little bit. I'll fast forward through the part where I'm just playing it because we're looking at integrated LUFS. Integrated means the song is supposed to be the full song that you're showing the overall average loudness that we're hearing. So we're not looking at short term LUFS, we're not looking at momentary, we're looking at integrated. So we want to play a good amount of the song at least just for this example. If you're going to recreate this and test stuff out yourself, then you could do the entire song and get the real integrated full LUFS. But you can see here after like some of the quiet parts were playing and then the drums kicked in, it started going up a bit. Um, so it got, it's averaging around minus 14 LUFS, which is Spotify's normalized audio playback. We could do Rockstar by Post Malone. So I'm gonna refresh this and put on Rockstar. So you can see on this one, it starts off really quiet and then it kicks in with like the low end and everything. So we started off really low and now we're way up here, which is probably like minus 13, minus 12 or so. So it's giving us the average. We're still averaging minus 14 LUFS. Starts off low, goes up high. Our average integrated LUFS is minus 14 still. Now, what if you go in and you turn off the loudness normalization? So I'm gonna go into my account. I'm gonna go to my settings here. And I have a premium account, so I have this option of turning normalization off. So now we get to see the real actual levels that people were uploading to Spotify. It might change a little bit because the conversion process can add a little bit of level in there, but we're going to see pretty much what was uploaded to Spotify. So now I'm going to go back to my loudness comparison uh, playlist here. And we'll start off with my song because I know what I uploaded and we'll see what it actually outputs. So I'm going to refresh this and press play here. So you can see it's a lot louder now. As the drums play, it's getting louder and louder. So now I'm up into the minus nines. And now I have a break in my song where it gets really quiet again, so it's gonna drop the LUFS. So integrated is gonna be over the full song because I have really quiet parts and I have some loud parts, my integrated is actually gonna be lower. So now it's picking back up, it's getting louder again. So it's going to creep its way back up to the minus 9 area. That's actually hanging out around minus 10.1, so not quite to minus 9 here. Okay, so that's enough of that one. So we're looking at minus 10 is our integrated loudness for the first minute 
and 17 seconds of the song. Something to also look at is the true peak. Right here it says minus 0 0.8. I uploaded it at minus 1 dB true peak. After the conversion, it went a little bit louder and it's outputting it at minus 0 0.8 true peak. So it did add a tiny, tiny bit and it went to minus 0 0.8. So that's minus 0 0.2 difference of what I uploaded. Um, the LUFS is pretty much the same of what I uploaded. Okay, so now let's look at some of these other songs. And you're gonna start seeing some stuff that they don't follow what Spotify recommends. Spotify recommends, hey, if you're going around minus 14, which is what we're playing back at, um, you wanna do minus one dB true peak. And if you're going louder than that, so say minus nine or so, you're gonna to wanna to do minus two dB true peak. And that's something I personally don't even follow because I don't think you need to go that quiet on the true peak. I've never had any issues with minus one dB true peak. So it's just a caution uh, type of thing that a lot of people don't follow. So let's go ahead and just look at it. So we're gonna play the baby from the beginning here. Let's refresh this. All right, so our LUFS is jumping up now after the intro, the drums are kicking in. You can see my true peak right here. It's already going over. So we're already at zero. There's no, they're not following the minus one dB or minus two dB true peak. Our LUFS is up to 10.5 right now and it's still creeping up. Okay, so listen to 58 seconds of the song. We're at minus 10.2 LUFS and our true peak is all the way at zero. So they didn't follow the minus one that Spotify recommends. And when you listen, you don't hear any of that distortion that they caution you to follow and all of that. You never know. Uh, you might hear it on some playback systems with the whole intersample peaking. But with Spotify's recommendation, it's the whole conversion process from one format to another. You upload a WAV file, they convert it into whatever they use to have on their streaming site. So let's look at another song. So let's refresh this. Rockstar by Post Malone. Super low intro, so it's gonna be a low LUFS. Our true peak has plenty of headroom right now. Drums hit, we're already over true peak, and our LUFS is climbing fast. Because it's loud the whole time, our integrated LUFS is going higher and higher. Okay, so we'll stop there. That's a minute and 15 seconds into the song. We're all the way up to minus 8.5 LUFS because there's a lot of loud sections right there. The intro was quiet, but now it's just really loud. And we're going over True Peak plus 0 0.1 here. Uh, so that's what their integrated is at for the first minute 16 seconds of the song. So that one's a lot louder. Now let's do the next song, Eminem. This is a newer song. Started off pretty loud. The intro wasn't very long. All right, so we're already up into the minus eight LUFS area. Our true peak is looking good so far, minus 0 0.2. Oh, it's going up a little higher now. All right, so now it's a quieter part in the song, so it's gonna drop our LUFS a little bit. So now it's loud again, that's why it's going back up. You see, we just hit zero, so the true peak's now all the way high. It's not at the minus one or the minus two like Spotify recommends. All right, we're a minute into that one. Minus 8.7 integrated LUFS up to a minute 11 into the song. True peak all the way at zero. So that's Eminem's new song. Let's refresh it. Let's do another one here. This is Lil Wayne and 2 Chains. And we're, we're just going to do this again. Play about a minute or so of it and see what our integrated LUFS is at, what our true peak is at. Look at our true peak. It's way over. Plus 0 0.4 so far. 0 0.5 now. So because there's parts that are quiet in the song and then it goes loud and then it's quiet again, we're sitting around minus nine LUFS. So the drums just hit, so it's gonna go back up a little bit. So on this one, minus nine LUFS, but our true peak is over by 0 0.5. So far you'll see that nobody's paying attention to these true peak or the LUFS recommendations that Spotify says on their website. So let's do one more, just as an example. This one is Tech 9. Tech 9 is known for very, very loud music. So the intro is quiet, like most songs. Now it's getting loud. So they're already over True Peak. LUFS is climbing. All right, so we're up into the minus nines now. 
So now we're into the minus eights because that 808 is really hitting. Volume is really loud with all the vocals coming in. Okay, so it's a minute and a half into that one. Minus eight on this one, went over True Peak again, 0 0.5. So you'll see that a lot of these uploads from big artists, and I'm assuming popular mastering engineers, they're not following what Spotify is asking for, what they recommend. Nobody's getting near minus 14, and I don't think anybody should get near minus 14, unless you're a jazz record, which is probably a quiet record, and that's what just sounds right around there. So minus 14, that's not something anybody's following, and I wouldn't recommend it either. Um, I would definitely go louder than that. I think minus 9 integrated is a pretty good thing. Like A lot of artists are doing minus 9 up to minus 8. That's being pretty much the average. The baby song was in the minus 10 range for a while. So if you have a, a range, I'd say minus 10 to minus eight integrated LUFS. Don't just listen to the loudest part of the song and then that's it because that's gonna be like minus seven, minus six. If you listen to the full song with the quiet intro and the louder parts, then you'll see the integrated the actual LUFS for the song. So that's gonna average between minus 10, minus eight, on these popular uploads. So that's something you could shoot for somewhere in there. I like shooting for around minus nine. That's just something I usually go for. Now, as far as True Peak goes, just because all of these popular songs are uploading and they're going a little bit over True Peak or they're hitting right at True Peak at zero, that doesn't mean you should do that too. I like to do the minus one for two reasons. One is it can cause issues. It can add distortion. Maybe you don't notice it, on these songs and that's fine like maybe it just didn't happen on these songs but wouldn't that suck if you put a song out you've been waiting a month for it to release and then you find out when it, you play it back on spotify there's some distortion in there that you didn't expect because you didn't pay attention to the true peak so to avoid that i like to use minus one db true peak that's just what I go with. I think that's a good spot to go with. I don't go as low as minus two like Spotify recommends for these louder LUFS, but I still do minus one dB true peak. That's just a preference for me. And you can see on my song when I played it, it ended up being minus 0 0.8 true peak because I'm guessing through the conversion process, it raised it a little bit. It was at minus one when I sent it to them. So that's what changed there. So these guys, they might've sent it at minus 0 0.2 or something like that and then after being converted it went up to zero or they might have sent it at zero and it went up a little bit so that's possible too but that just shows that you don't have to follow the rules necessarily but to be safe i would go with minus one db true peak another reason for going with minus one db true peak is because of intersample uh, peaks on crappy playback systems so in the studio you have good converters through your interface you have nice speakers everything's sounding good play this back through a crappy little speaker system where it has crappy converters and all of a sudden you're hearing like a clipped sound. It sounds distorted because it's actually clipping the signal because the playback system isn't working properly and it's causing that distortion. So that's another reason if you do minus one dB true peak, you could prevent that because you're leaving a little bit more headroom for those crappy converters to not clip your signal. So that's intersample peak. So you could go ahead and look all that stuff up if you want and read up on it. But um, safe bet, minus one dB true peak. LUFS target for integrated throughout your song around minus nine is the average. If you want to go a little louder, minus eight. If you want to go a little quieter, minus 10. That's what seems to be the popular choice for a lot of songs. And this is assuming you're doing hip hop because that's the genre I always teach and talk about on this channel. So if you're doing hip hop or if you're doing pop, then do a test with pop songs. If you're doing jazz, do a test with jazz songs. And then you can see the average. If you want to know what I'm doing to do all this, it's called Loopback. It's a, I'm just doing a trial. I just downloaded it right now. And it makes it so I could send Spotify into my DAW to do these tests to monitor. And all I'm doing is with my source, I press the plus sign, you can select whatever's running and I selected Spotify, which is right here. Mute when capturing so you don't have a double back. Uh, this pass through thing is just, it was there. And they're both going into channel one and two, which is my output. Now my output is going through channel one and two on my interface so I could hear it out the speakers. It's also sending channel five and six, which is my virtual one and two 
on my setup with the UAD console and everything. So virtual one and two is my input here. That's why I'm able to run this feed into Pro Tools. Now, uh, this is a good way to test your stuff. You could go ahead and just replicate this test by using the same stuff I did and see what you're actually working with. Now you're gonna have to have a premium Spotify account and able to turn off loudness normalization to do this test, but uh, that's just something you'll need. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna have a gift for you guys for watching this and I want to help you guys with your loudness, with your optimal levels from recording, mixing, and mastering, all the way to outputting for streaming sites. Now, it's gonna be a free download. You just click on the link down below and you can access the download. So that's gonna be a guide for optimal levels. It's a checklist, everything that I personally use when doing recording, mixing, and mastering. Uh, of course, there's people who go louder or quieter or don't follow the True Peak stuff, but this is my perspective on things and this is what I've seen work. And this is me being careful with not doing inner sample distortion or getting distortion from converting into Spotify's uh, format. So this is how I do everything. And if you follow my stuff, then you're probably wanting to see what my opinion on this stuff is as well. So go ahead and download that. It's just like a three or four page PDF and it has all the information that you'll need. You can refer back to it at any time and see all of the levels to shoot for when recording, mixing, and mastering. Go ahead and just click on that link below and pick that up. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.